Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial on Skyce's Structural 3D. Today we're going to explore grouping, uh, a new function uh, or feature set that we've uh, released with Structural 3D that uh, allows you to bundle or group similar members, plates or supports into neat and organised uh, groups that you can refer to later in the post-processing and design phase of your projects. Um, so. Uh, they're really easy to, to sort of organize from the modeling uh, UI. You can just hit uh, advanced groups or you can hit control G and that'll um, open up that part of the, the UI, the grouping UI, which lets you control um, your existing uh, groups or add new groups um, and as well as make the most of our auto grouping functionality as well. Um, so you can launch this also just directly from the model. Um, say you want to sort of characterize or um, control parts of the model. I, I might just right click and highlight all those members um, and hit set as group. And so that'll populate um, this table with all the members I've selected and also all the nodes, but we don't really need to um, keep those nodes, uh, group those nodes. So I'll keep that part of the model and I might call this uh, sort of uh, north half structure. So um, you can use the graphics to, to control and add groups, um, but you can also add them in just by hitting the plus sign and uh, you know adding in uh, custom uh, member IDs to, to your groups there. Uh, I'll also show you the auto grouping functionality. So this is a really, really useful feature that will auto detect and auto categorize um, all your members within the structure. So you, you can see you've got a few controls over what you want to group your members by. Uh, I'll leave the default settings on. And what this has done is created uh, a few sets of groups. Um, so detected, it's detected the different sections and then also uh, collected ones in similar directions. So these are in the, in the Z, global Z direction uh, with the same material and the same length as well. So um, it's already done a lot of the sort of difficult work for you. So now I can see it's um, grouped all of my columns and I can change these names to be a bit more descriptive, to say columns. Uh, it's picked up my bracing members. So it's been quite quite helpful in terms of um, auto, auto grouping uh, parts of your structure, so it's easy to, to um, manage. And I can also use some of the functionality around sort of uh, merging. So I can see here I've got two columns that I probably want to merge with the rest of the group, uh, the column group. So I'll just ho hold control and click that other um, row and then just hit merge and that'll create or add them the other two members into this um, one member class so it's all sort of neatly organized. Um, some other functionality or other features that you can uh, make the most of in, in grouping is uh, some of these vis visibility settings so if I want to sort of turn on or off parts of the model or groups and this is particularly useful if you're sort of trying to model and organize parts of your structure and you don't want to see the entire structure. Uh, you can turn groups on and off in terms of visibility, um, which will let you focus on parts of the model that you need to, um, to focus on. And you can also mass edit um, parts of the model. So say you want to change all these columns to a different uh, cross section, I can just hit the edit button and that'll let me edit um, any, any of the attributes of this particular um, group or all the members in this group. Um, so there's some really great um, and useful modeling features that you can use grouping for, um, but there's obviously a whole range of uh, other benefits that you can have in the post-processing and design stage, which we will now look at. So once I'm happy with all my groups, uh, I will run the structural analysis. And I can then review all of my um, groups here on this dropdown. So for instance, if we want to sort of look at the axial forces, this is, can be quite difficult to manage. Um, but if I just look at sort of, just want to look at the columns, um, now this becomes a little bit cleaner to work with um, and lets me focus on particular parts of the design that I really need to focus. For instance, in this case, all the columns of the structure. Um, so I, you can do this uh, without the use of groups. So if I wanted to sort of just focus on a particular part of the member, I can use the control uh, and drag to sort of um, look at those parts of the model or even control drag the other way to select anything within inside um, that box and let me focus on those areas as well. So there's multiple ways you can go about it but if you have a neatly organized set of groups uh, it handles a lot of that for you. 
Uh, so that's some of the functionality in the post process, post processing, excuse me. Um, and we can also take make the most of um, some of that group functionality in the uh, design check phase as well. So in this case, it's a cold form steel. I'm using the Australian standard 4600. Um, so I'll run a design check of your members and your post processing. Um, if you if you take the time to add those groups at the beginning of the uh, in the modeling phase. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope grouping functionality helps you um, with your workflows. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us at support at uh, We'd love to hear from you and we hope you enjoy the software. Thank you.